Two very interesting nights, the Butcher and the Beast, who is waiting for us tonight. Our nerve centre is here, an amazing building, constructed in 1897. It is the Winter Gardens in Morecambe, but the team, after starting here with a Ouija board session, are relocating a little way away here in Morecambe. It's the Alhambra. It is now two separate buildings, two separate properties, but once upon a time, Brian Shepherd, our psychic artist, the medium, thinks it was one building. When he was there spending time on his own, he ended up very frightened indeed, but he did come up with a remarkable piece of psychic art. We can take a look at it now. This is what he sensed is maybe the next face of evil, and a very chilling face indeed. And Brian, you also got the sense of black magic in this location. Yeah, what did you mean by that? Indeed. And, and I don't think it's... Well, it might... They are connected, I think, between the drawing that I've, uh, you see on the screen now and, and, and black magic, possibly. What I, what, what I meant was, there seems to be an underlying thing about that place, something that's a lot more ancient than we can imagine. And, and I picked up, and I, and I spoke to you just now about this, the word, Ellen, which seemed to be significant in some way. Now, whether indeed that, the fact that, you know, there's something uh, pretty evil there, if you like, on that ground, and that indeed has affected something much later on, and it's that something much later on, I believe I visualised on that day. So kind of almost historical echo? Yeah. Well, in a way, uh, an influence, if you like. Um, the person, the spirit of the person I encountered on that day, let's say, and I believe to be a killer, could have been heavily influenced by long ago. Okay, so That's maybe what whatever was in them what? was kick-started by a yeah. resonance from the past. Indeed. Now, I'm Indeed. interested by the fact you've got a female name beginning with E, but it's Ellen. Because during the sale, during the Ouija board session, it sounded like we had Ellen. the name Emily that right. came out. Emily. Now, is there any chance that either you've sent something similar to that, or maybe the name that came through was different? Because well, it's it, a real it, coincidence, 26 letters of the alphabet, you've got two female names starting with the letter E. Could be, could, could be. As I say, from my point of view, I thought Ellen. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully we'll see. And what was it in that building, where the vigil is about to start, what was it that sent you scurrying out of that room? Just that that, that, that. that figure, very nearby, and that whisper, right up close to my face, as though you almost feel, and I'm sure everyone has, a breath on your face that said, get out. You know, just that. Now, very quickly, can you just tell us how you get your psychic images? how you get that art, because you have very precise drawings, they're slightly stylized, you've got a, a male head much bigger than the surroundings, that's obviously the overriding impression. Does it come to you yeah. visually or do you sense it? Yeah, there is no real perspective, if you like, you know, what, what happens is, if you want a, a technical explanation, I would sit and I would draw what I see, the same as you might, with the ability, sit and draw what you see. Okay, of the three presences you sketch for us tonight, what has been the most threatening? Night one, night two, or tonight? In a way, tonight, because of that underlying influence there, that underlying evil which I think exists on that site. Okay, thank you for the moment, Brian Shepherd, our psychic artist and medium. We also want to hear from you, an awful lot going on here. We have never been as technically ambitious in the past as we have on this most haunted live. Here with more. Julian Clegg. Julian. Yeah, thank you, Paul. And we've been mentioning the eight webcams on this uh, Most Haunted Live, uh, a, a new thing for us. And we showed you the first four a few moments ago. Let's now look at webcams five, six, seven, and eight. And here they are. Webcam five is in the ladies' toilet of the antique store in the Alhambra. If you see anything on that uh, side, apart from the crew, of course, who are getting ready for the investigations, obviously that goes without saying. Uh, let us know any uh, paranormal and sightings. I want to hear from you, please. Let's move on to webcam six, placed at the entrance to the antique store. There it is. You can see some of the crew there. But what else can you see? If you can see something, let me know. Webcam six there. Moving on to webcam seven in the front bar of the nightclub. Don't forget when you see something, let us know the time and of course who you are and where you're from when you get in touch. So that's webcam seven in the front bar of the nightclub. And then webcam eight in what is known as the hanging room at the back of the nightclub. What are you going to see on that webcam tonight? We'd like to hear from you. Now the way it will work is at the moment we're showing you webcams one to four and then later in the evening we'll switch them over to these four cameras. So bear that in mind we're looking at the first four, one to four at the moment on our website and then we move on to webcams five to eight. Now, let me tell you how you can get in touch and uh, tell me your messages and so on. Text me. Text the word screen in the space and then your message and sighting to 80889. The text cost 
50p plus one text message at a standard rate. You must be over 18 to get in touch with Most Haunted Live. And of course, go to the website, Most Haunted Live Net. There you will find uh, the interactive map and all the webcams. And of course, you can send us your messages as well. Now, I mentioned the uh, seance, and we had big reaction to this straight away. We really like this when things happen on stage or at location. Get in touch straight away, and we can bring you these on screen. Um, Jake, of course, is one of the things that came up. Emma in Liverpool says, uh, does anyone remember Jake, who followed the team around in Liverpool? Great night, she says so far, by the way. Thank you very much for that. Um, here's one. Hi, I'm Kelly in Redditch. Tw 2109 was the time. We love it when you give us the times on these. Uh, during the seance, I could hear a faint wailing at that time, 2109, and I think it's a woman connected with the guy that is calling Yvette. And I saw a little boy, says Carrie in Nottingham on webcam too, and I gasped. My dog Mary growled at exactly the same time, and and she never growls. Uh, we like to hear the strange experiences happening at home, by the way. And Leah from uh, Carlisle, the guy whose name was spelt on the Ouija, was Jake, of course, from the last show. Very scary to hear that Jake is making a return tonight. So that's the kind of thing we like. And if you see something on the investigation tonight, let us know. Um, more messages. Ian and Mandy in Eastbourne, thank you for your message. We both had a, a strong feeling since the beginning of the show that Yvette is being followed by a man called Bob. The, the name connections always interesting. Will they come up later in the evening? We'll find out later. Uh, Bethan in Wales, absolutely love the show. Be careful and stay safe. I feel there's going to be quite a lot of danger on the show tonight. You can say that again. Bethan in Wales, thank you very much for that one. And James and Christine in Dublin, good luck to the team for tonight. We're having our own Most Haunted Live gathering. Lots of those going on right the way through the week. And of course, Saturday's going to be a big night, isn't it? We have a feeling the name Michael is going to come up on the show. And uh, Emma in Letchworth, uh, I had a strange dream last night about an evil presence called Mr. Russell stalking the team, and I think he may crop up tonight. More messages from you and reaction from Interactive later. Paul, back to you. Thank you, Julian. We are gearing up for our first vision, uh, visit to tonight's vigil location. Now, a little earlier in the show, we're about to take a break, but earlier in the show, we surprised Emma Cave from Birmingham. We asked her to be our solo vigil person tonight. She's conducted her own mini vigil. As we take this break, here is what, what's happened to Emma tonight. Take a look back soon. I've just been left on my own. It's pitch black in here. You just don't know how black it is. Uh, it's freezing cold. Big empty basement. There's nothing in here at all. I think I can see shadows, but it's really dark. It might be my eyes playing tricks. Seems like there's something on my left. Oh, it looks like I can see something out of the corner of my eye. Like a shadow, like a face. My heart's going really beating. Really scared. There's definite noises. I'm creaking. So if you can make a noise. Is anyone there? Tap out. Is anything in here? Tap two for yes, one for no. Feels like there's something. Oh my god, it feels like there's something behind me. Hello and welcome back to Most Haunted Live, live for eight nights from the Winter Gardens in Morecambe. This is night three of an unprecedented eight-night investigation, 32 hours of paranormal experiments. Experiment being the operative word tonight, because Kieran O'Keefe, a parapsychologist, has assembled an array of scientific equipment to analyse what is happening at tonight's vigil location. That's the good news. The worrying news is we have already experienced severe technical problems, which we hope have now been resolved. I'm going to go straight now to tonight's visual location in Morecambe. It's the Alhambra, where Yvette Fielding and the team have assembled. Wish them luck. Okay, well, as Paul just said, we are, ex we really are, as soon as we walked into this particular building, we just had nothing but technical difficulties. Um, so uh, thank you very much for being so patient and, and staying with us. Now, whether it's paranormal, I have no idea, but it certainly is um, a first. I have to say, it was a bit nerve-wracking at one point. We were going to have to do the rest of the show on the webcams. But here we are. We're actually in this location, which I find absolutely fascinating. It's this huge building. We're on the ground floor, and it is just full of antiques. Um, and we have to be 
as you can imagine, we're in the dark, for goodness sake, and we're surrounded by antiques. Chris is incredibly clumsy, as he's already said, and he's actually already knocked something over.